Once again here, we've got a nice uh, find here. We're sitting on my neighbor's porch. No projection TV. These have the Fresno lens as you're aware inside. So these bigger ones usually have a bigger lens. In this case it's just a small, little bit bigger than that other one. But um, same process to take the screen off. You got screws back here. All the way around just take those loose hopefully this one doesn't have a broken mirror inside like the other one but yeah they have a mirror which some people keep on the inside as well as uh three lenses with the color firing lenses they have like some of them have four focusing lenses on the inside that you can remove i'll probably do that but the main event is this fresno lens you got this outside layer here protective plastic and then on some of these there's three layers the middle one or the back one is the Fresno lens so let me go ahead and take this apart okay I got the screen taken off there's those projection things I was talking about I got three good big lenses in there there's the mirror uh, it's inside of every one of these there's the removed screen, which it's got a little bend in the thing, I think, to make the screen perfectly level. But I'm gonna remove the um, I'm gonna remove the uh, the lens from out of here and take the front part off and just leave the Fresno lens and use this for a frame temporarily and see if I can get some good focusing because that'll solve a big basically a problem of having to frame it in if I already have one I might as well use it recycle took this part put it back in the frame which still has a clear lens which doesn't really uh, bother it at all I'm just going to set it up to kill these weeds in my driveway it's the first use I'm going to use it for let's kill all these weeds I'll put it on a a wagon, a little frame I'm making. I'm gonna focus this a little better, get it all worked out. And as the day goes by, I'll just let it focus on the weed and kill it and burn it away. And then as that one gets killed, I'll move it. Eventually, I'll do all of these. So that's the first use. And then I gotta get rid of that mess after I take those focusing lenses out. But yeah, look for part two of this project. All right, so I got you three lenses. I took this one apart. Pretty, pretty nifty little thing. You can uh, turn it. As you can see, it's on a descending angle, it's an inclined plane. And as you move it, it moves this uh, bottom lens here in and out. As you can see, kind of cool. But yeah. So that's you got three of those but I, just a little warning you take this inverted cone here that was down in there and that's actually full of some kind of oil so that actually sits in the oil as you can see and, so just so be aware that's gonna make quite a mess so I'm gonna roll that down and get rid of that in a responsible manner but yeah I still got these two to take out but well, so those will may come in handy for the focusing device that I'd like to make for it but that's way later first I'm going to burn all the weeds and the cracks in my driveway after I get that done and I'll probably modify it to I uh, have a an ice cream cooler it's an old ice cream cooler I'm gonna has the curved glass on the top little slide things you see them in liquor stores and grocery stores well I'm gonna got wheels on it so I'm gonna take that and make that into my box I'm gonna mount that um that lens right there onto it so it's swivelable and focusable and uh, then I'm gonna use that to heat up a keg that I have right now that I had for another experiment it's all blackened from carbon from the fires the repeated fires that were on it so it's aluminum so it's probably perfect I'm just going to focus two different Fresno lenses, maybe a parabolic mirror eventually over it. 
made out of an old giant satellite dish idea for that but yeah so that's what I'm gonna do till next time part two